Hello students, myself Ashish Chawla and today we continue the topic factorization. Now uh, the next type of factorization is when the expression is in the form of when expression is in the form of x square plus px plus q. अगर एक्सप्रेशन इस फॉर्म में है तो उसको हम किस तरह से फैक्टराइज करेंगे लेट सी द प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस इज दैट वी हैव टू डिवाइड द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स दैट इज पी इनटू टू नंबर्स लेट्स से एन वन एन एन टू वी हैव टू डिवाइड पी इनटू टू नंबर्स दैट इज एन वन एंड एन टू सच दैट देयर सम इज इक्वल्स टू पी एंड देयर प्रोडक्ट their product is equals to constant term that is q hum kya karenge jo coefficient of x hai that is p usko hum do number mein divide karenge that is n1 and n2 such that n1 aur n2 ka sum kya hoga p ke barabar hoga aur unka jo product hoga that is equals to q that is constant term to is process se hum is expression ko factorize kar sakte hain let's see how take an example we have x square plus 5x plus 6 now this expression is in the form of x square plus px plus q now according to our rule we have to divide 5 into two numbers such that their sum is 5 and their product is equals to the constant term that is 6 so we divide 5 into two parts let's say 3 and 2 so their sum That is three plus two equals to five. That is the coefficient of x, and their product, that is three into two, is equal to the constant term. That is six. So x square plus five x plus six can be written as x square. Now five x can be written as three x and two x because we are splitting five into two terms. That is three and two. So 5x can be written as 3x plus 2x plus 6. Now after that, now from these two terms we take x common. So in the bracket we left with x plus 3. From these two terms we take x common. So x square divided by x we get x simply. Now 3x divided by x we get only 3. Now from these two terms we take 2 common. Now 2x divided by 2. From these two terms, we take two common, so x is left here. Now six divided by two, we get three here. Now, in these two terms, we are what we are seeing that x plus three is common in both the terms. So we take x plus three common. So what is left? Now for in this expression, only x is left. So we write x. Now in this expression, only plus two is left. So we write plus two. So this is the factorization of x square plus 5x plus 6 that is equals to x plus 3 into x plus 2 now let's see some more examples x square minus 7x plus 12 so here the coefficient of x is minus 7 so we have to split into two numbers such that their sum is minus 7 so let's say this is minus 3 and minus 4 Because the sum of minus three and minus four is plus minus seven, and their product, that is minus three into minus four, should be equal to the constant term, that is twelve. So minus three into minus four, we know that it is twelve. So it is satisfy the condition. So minus three plus minus four gives you minus seven, and minus three into minus four gives you plus twelve. That is a constant term. So we can split this expression. That is x square minus 7x plus 12 can be written as x square minus 3x minus 4x minus 7x is written as minus 3x and minus 4x and plus 12 as it is. Now, in these two expressions, we take x common. When we are taking x common, x square divided by x, what we left left x. Now, from minus 3x divided by x, we left with minus 3. Now. In these two terms, we take four common. Now, to make the coefficient of x positive, 
so we take minus 4 common so when we are taking minus 4 common so minus 4x divided by minus 4 we are getting x now plus 12 divided by minus 4 we are getting minus 3 so in these two expressions we take x minus 3 common so what is left here that is x now what is left here that is minus 4 so the factorization of x square minus 7x plus 12 is equals to x minus 3 into x minus 4 let's take one more example x square minus 12x minus 45 now again we have to split minus 12 that is coefficient of x into two numbers such that their sum is minus 12 and their product is minus 45 so the two numbers are let's say minus 15 and 3 so their sum is minus 15 plus 3 we are getting minus 12 and minus 15 into 3 that is minus 45 so this is verified that is minus 15 plus 3 gives you minus 12 and minus 15 into 3 gives you minus 45 so it will satisfy our condition so we can split x square minus 12x minus 45 can be written as x square minus 12x can be written as minus 15x plus 3x remember always we have to uh, split the middle term into these two numbers according to their signs minus 45 so in these two terms we are taking x common so we left with x minus 15 now in these two terms we are taking 3 common so x minus 15 so in these two terms we take x minus 15 common so what is left now x plus 3 so this is the factorization of this expression now we move to the next part now अभी हमने देखा कि जो expression था उसमें x square का coefficient 1 था now let's see the expression in which the x square having some coefficients let's say when the expression is in the form of x square plus bx plus c यहाँ पे x square का coefficient a है जबकि previous case में x square का coefficient कुछ भी नहीं था तो let's say हम अब क्या करेंगे वापस वही process है हमारा कि हम जो coefficient of x है that is b उसको दो नंबर में डिवाइड करेंगे दैट इज n1 एंड n2 सच दैट n1 plus n2 is equals to b and their product should be equals to a into c a means the coefficient of x square and c is we know that it is constant term so we have to split this number in such a way that their sum is equals to b and their product is equals to a into c now let's take one example 2x square plus 9x plus 10 so here the coefficient of x square is 2 not 1 now what we have to do again we have to split the middle term that is 9 into two numbers let's say the two numbers let's say 4 and 5 so that their sum is 9 and their product that is 4 into 5 it is equals to that is 20 that is equals to the product of the constant term and the coefficient of x square that is 10 into 2 that is 20 that is verified so we can split 9x into 9x as 4x and 5x that is 4 plus 5 gives you the middle term that is 9 and their product 4 into 5 gives you 20 that is equals to the constant term that is 10 and the coefficient of x square multiplication so 2 into 10 so we can split 9x as 4x plus 5x so the given expression 2x square plus 9x plus 10 can be written as 2x square 9x can be written as 4x plus 5x because we are splitting 9 into 2 parts that is 4 and 5 plus 10 now in this expression we take 2 common as well as x common so 2x common so what is left that is x plus 2 now from in these two expression we take 5 common so x plus 2 now from in these two expressions we take x plus 2 common so what is left that is 2x plus 5 so in this way we can factorize let's see 
some more examples. 15x square minus 26x plus 8. Now again we have to split 26 into two numbers such that their sum is 26 and their product should be equal to 15 into 8. That is 15 into 8 that is 120. So simply we can say that the, these two factors are minus 20 and minus 6. So minus 20 and minus 6 is minus 26 and minus 20 into minus 6 is equals to plus 120. So we can split minus 26 into minus 20 into minus sorry minus 20 and minus 6. So we verify this condition that is minus 2 plus minus 6 gives you minus 26 and minus 20 into minus 6 gives you 120 that is 15 into 8. So we can split minus 26 into minus 20 and minus 6. So 15x square minus 26x can be written as minus 20x minus 6x plus 8. In this two expression we take 5x common. So what is left? That is 3x minus 4. Now in this two expression to make the coefficient of x positive we take minus 2 common. So what is left? Minus 6x divided by minus 2. We are getting 3x. Now 8 divided by minus 2 we are getting minus 4. Now what we are seeing that in these two expressions we are taking 3x minus 4 common. So what is left? That is 5x minus 2. So this is the factorization of this given expression. That is 15x square minus 26x plus 8 can be written as 3x minus 4 into 5x minus 2. Let's see an example. 3x square minus 4x minus 4. Now we have to think two numbers whose sum is minus 4 and their product is minus 12. So the two numbers are minus, minus 6 and plus 2. So their sum is minus 6 plus 2 gives you minus 4 and their product that is minus 6 into 2 gives you minus 12. That is 3 into minus 4 that is 12. So this is verified. Minus 6 plus 2 gives you minus 4 and minus 6 into 2 gives you minus 12 which is written as 3 into minus 4. So it is satisfy our condition. So we can split 3x square minus 4x minus 4 can be written as 3x square minus 6x plus 2x minus 4. Now in these two terms we take 3x common. So what is left here? That is x minus 2. Now in these two terms we take 2 common. So what is left? That is x minus 2. Now finally in these two terms we are taking x minus 2 common. So what is left here? That is 3x and what is left here? That is plus 2. So the, the factorization of 3x square minus 4x minus 4 is equals to x minus 2 into 3x plus 2. Thank you.